adding an air assist and a drag chain to this X-Tool D1 laser. It's going to be kind of a multi-part video over several days. Talk about it coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And what I'm working on here is my X-Tool D1 10 watt laser. And if you watch my previous videos, especially the review of it, I did not like the way this cable was constantly getting into the work area here. So I decided to add a drag chain, and I'll go into details on here in a minute. But it became a little more of an effort than I thought it was going to be at the initial outset, but that happens. I'm also adding air assist, and I'll show you what I've done for that. Of course, it's not all complete yet, because this is going to take uh, several days, and it'll be shot at different times as I get parts. Okay, what I've done to mount this drag chain on the uh, X carriage here is I drilled and tapped three holes to be able to put a drag chain mount on and they are it's drilled and tapped to uh, the three millimeter and those are little three millimeter flathead screws and on the other end here I this is the X2 prototype here because the X1 prototype is right there and it was not tall enough so I had to uh, print a taller one and that'll be the other end of the drag chain but what I found out was that my uh, stepper motor cable for the X carriage was then too short so I ordered another one so I've got that coming for the air assist and there's a side view of it and I opted for the one where you had to cut a little slot in that uh, shield and I did that with a soldering iron it was very easy a little hold, holder up the top there for the tubing and I added what they call a tie wrap base or a zip tie base or whatever you want to call it um, onto the side to kind of keep that hose out of the way of that little kick down thing for setting the height. I did try a couple different uh, options here with uh, the air assist. There's two of them. There's a uh, and actually there's a couple of them in the trash too because I broke one and one of them I just flat didn't like. Oh and then there was another option with one that used uh, a nozzle from a 3D printer as the uh, actual air nozzle but I was not able to get that to print good enough to uh, use. They suggested using a resin printer. I don't have one. I only have FDM printers. So that didn't work out too well. We'll turn this up on end here. And you can see how that fits on the inside there. Mine is a 14 millimeter. And no, the hose is not kinked. It kind of looks like it, but it's not. So that'll be coming along. I'm waiting to put that back on until I get the rest of this drag chain thing figured out here. Well, there's a few more of my little prototype things that didn't really work out well. The drag chain mount was my biggest thing. I thought I had it all figured out and then it wasn't tall enough. So I ended up making this one. And then I didn't have screws long enough. So I ended up having to inset the screws down in there to mount it. And this is drilled and tapped into the frame there above the motherboard.
Okay, this here is a test engrave to uh, see how well the air assist actually works with it. I'm doing a fill instead of just a line. And I'm also watching to see how well the air hose follows along with the cable. So far I haven't found any problems. And after this one's done I'm going to run a full frame around and we'll see how well the drag chain works at high speed. It looks like we're just about done with that. Okay, that's complete. So what I'm going to do here is move the laser to the upper left corner. I'm going to create a 300 millimeter square frame and I'm going to just run a frame. Okay, I have that set up as a 400 millimeter square, not a 300. And we're going to run this and see how the drag chain operates and how the uh, tube hangs on with the laser cable up there going the full perimeter of the laser. Okay, so sorry about the audio on this one. Um, I know I'm having some microphone problems here, so I had to switch over to a shotgun mic, and it doesn't pick up quite as well. It doesn't give you quite the audio quality that my other one does. But I'll get that fixed here soon, but you got to see what was involved with putting the drag chain on this laser. Uh, I do not have files for these 3D printed parts because I kind of modified things that I downloaded from Thingiverse. I'll work on something here in the future and try to get something up and post it for that. Otherwise, uh, it works. I'm happy with it. I'll run some more tests through it, of course, but uh, so far everything is just fine. Uh, I did have to lengthen the drag chain a little bit because it was like curling way up in the air and not laying flat like it wanted it to. Uh, my original block ad down here was too low and it really made it hook up. That's why I made this taller block. Ideally, this should be even taller, but uh, this works. Made the chain longer. I did have to add a uh, longer cable for the X axis motor, stepper motor, but otherwise, uh, it wasn't really that bad. And I'm glad I've got it on here. The air assist works well. I'm using one of these Paw Fly pumps off one of my other lasers until I can get another one of these for this one. So if you got something out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. Otherwise, I'm Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.